Let me ask you a question before you start the new year. When is the last time that you did something for the first time? Most of the people are average, some people are good, and very few are real good. Find the purpose of life, the purpose of your life. If you don't, keep looking. It has nothing to do with party, smoking, or drinking. Be curious, travel the world, explore it, meet people. Paul taught me that each one teach one. Everyone on earth has something to tell you that you never heard, something to show you that you never seen, or something to teach you. We only know what we learn, but most of what we learn is forgotten. We live and fight with what we mean, and the more we know, the more we grow. What you did defines where you are, but it's what you're doing now that will define where you will be. Last year was practice, this year was warmer, now it's game time. It's up to you to make it happen. True, honestly, yeah. man, because I I looked up to all these b boys. I used to be like, oh my god, Hong Ten, oh my god, Rockstar, like all these guys. And now I'm battling them. They're judging me, and and now they're like they're just homies, man. Like, oh, oh, what's up? How are you, man? And and I won, it and it feels so good. But it's like, wow, I, yeah, I finally won this competition. Like, yeah. yo, it's been a dream, man. Yeah. So it feels really good. Back then, when I first started shooting 30, 35 years ago, is just changed completely. For this to start in, 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 in the Bronx, and mainly you know, Hispanics and, and African Americans and, and a few different other cultures, to see the scene go global, part of the, the hip hop culture go global is just amazing. Some of the, the pioneers, you know, Legs is, is pushing, you know, 50, and he's still doing his thing, you know what I mean? So it's just, a, there is no age, there is a range, but there is no limit to it. You know, if you enjoy the music and you enjoy the scene, you're going you're gonna to do what you're going to do. If you see your child doing something positive, and they love doing it, inspire them to do better. They're going to take that inspirational thing that you said to them and take it to the next level. If it wasn't for breaking, I mean, who knows, you know, the, the road I would have chose, you know? Because I was already on a path where, you know, I was hanging around with gang members, drug dealers. I mean, all, I, mean I was 11 years old carrying guns to school.
친구보다 피부 좋지 않을까요? 우와! 와 대박 저 그래요? I'm glad that it's being documented the way it is being documented because you know if I wasn't shooting it back then or Marty, Martha Cooper or any one of the other ones it wasn't being documented you know but again we did what we did because we love doing what we do because the onus is on us it's our responsibility to document our culture Shout out to everybody that's keeping this culture alive. You know, keeping this culture alive, it's a beautiful thing. It is ours to spread and thank you. Thank you, thank you. This thing that you love, that I fell in love with many years ago, is alive and well, okay? Salute to you if you know what hip hop is. The underlying sentiment behind it all is really the discipline to stay by what you are intending to do. The discipline of, yes, you are shattered, but you want to carry on. When I pray before battles, I thank God for this moment, for my friends, and this opportunity to dance once again. I'm asking not just for us, but also for my opponents to dance amazing and for a battle which will be remembered in history. I'm not asking to win, but to dance freely the way we have been created in this world, which is to be B-boys. And after the battles, win or lose, I thank God for this culture, for what it has given to me in this short lifetime. I pray for unity in this culture, for all styles, approaches, and perspectives, that we all can learn to respect one another through peace, showing each other love, unity, and of course, having fun together. This is what hip hop is supposed to be all about. So I pray that we will be a culture that honors our pioneers, OGs, and legends, and together creates a better b-boy and b-girl future and a self-sustaining industry and lifestyle for all of us and for the following generations of b-boys to come. Amen. <laughs>